here on earth, we will fight not to be slaves of our sinful bodies, it is better to be prisoners of the Holy Spirit doing what he commands not to be slaves of the flesh, to be free is not to do what the flesh wants, sin commands and the flesh obeys, slavery begins with sin and continues eternally in hell, on earth slavery is the sin of the body and its pleasures, in hell, one does not enjoy the pleasure of the flesh and you do not do what you want there, demons have rights over souls, not practicing the word, I also saw several shepherds with their swords at their waist, I asked the Lord what this means, the Lord answered me, they are the ones who know the word and do not practice it, I saw masters and doctors of theology with their hands imprisoned and the demons dragged them into the abyss, the Lord said to me, all those who acquire the deep knowledge of the scriptures and do not practice the word are chained by the demons and dragged into the spiritual prisons of this world, I have given the sword of my word to be handled. All who do my word is managing the word in his life. The demons cannot arrest a warrior who knows how to use my word in his life, knowledge without practices is dead works. When the Lord said these words I remembered the theologian Dami who asked me to pray, I was powerless to teach. When I laid my hands on his head, a demon manifested, he fell to the ground and twisted, I expelled the demon in his life, Satan wants to destroy the church through sin. We must reject the world that Satan offers. In order to kill the will of the flesh and their heart desires. Those who are in Christ live a holy life. No harm will reach you, or witchcraft can hurt you because holiness is your equipment. The church must do charity help the oppressed and those who need it. The person you help today can help you tomorrow if you have gratitude. We must help without expecting anything in return. Be generous and not self-seeking, retribution will come from God, on earth or if not, in heaven. The night I went to church, when the worship ended I made a prayer and a teenager fell into a demonic manifestation, his heart stopped, I saw a demon take the soul from his body to hell. I rebuked that demon in the name of Jesus, a ball of fire came out of my mouth and hit that demon, he released the soul of that young man, that young man had died, he did not breathe. The church saw his state lying on the ground, he was dead, but when that demon loosed the soul of that young man, the soul of that young man returned quickly to his body, he rose from the dead, the whole church glorified God, sorcerers, the Lord showed me in the vision more sorcerers perfecting themselves in their spiritual stairs, going up steps and getting stronger in that place, they are advancing in evil stages and obeying Satan's standards to grow and Christians do not want to obey and think they are strong, while Christians do not want to pray and fast for their spiritual strengthening, sorcerers are locked in coffins within graveyards feeding on corpses, making great sacrifices for Satan. There is a difference between a non-obedient Christian who pays no price to be used and the Satan obedient sorcerer given power, this is the difference between the rebellious Christian and the obedient sorcerer, when these two confront each other, the obedient sorcerer receives all the ammunition of hell and takes advantage of the Christian who will not pray and will not obey, prayer brings spiritual coating and when we do not pray we break a commandment of Jesus that says, pray without ceasing cross, the Lord showed me his way, I saw thorns, I saw brothers walking over the thorns, they were about to give up, some were tired and with their feet pierced and crying, other people looking at the path did not even walk, they gave up the walk before trying, this group of people was going on a path where they were full of flowers and had no thorns, these people were happy, they walked but they did not know what was waiting for them at the end of that road, I could see the size of the fire chasm that was in the front, I screamed for them not to take that path, there is a chasm in the end, no one listened to me, the Lord told me, they are spiritually deaf, they do not listen, these people are those who have heard my word, they have not given credit and continue following the path of doom and darkness, my path is difficult to walk, he who takes that path will walk to eternal life, at the end of that path whoever gets the will enter my celestial kingdom and will be crowned, Antichrist, the Lord showed me in a vision devils enthroned in the minds and hearts of the governors, their hearts were dominated to put laws of persecution to the Christians, their evil minds were controlled to surrender the world into the hands of the future Antichrist, 
I also saw the multiplication of sin and demons reigning over the life of every person who was not converted, many did not want to give up sin and pluck sin out of their life by force, the kingdom of Satan was upon the lives of many brethren through sin, church, give no place to this kingdom, take it out of control of your lives, free yourself from the evil system of this world, dethrone the demons that work in your life, free yourself from the influence of the world. Put Jesus as king on the throne of your life, let Jesus rule your life, take control and let the Holy Spirit reign in your center, turn away from sin, temptations, and pleasures, the Lord showed me an army of demons for the future government of Satan on earth. He took the mental control of the people with his mark, 666. The governors received the future emperor of the new world order, churches, I saw in the vision the devil surrounding the churches to disorganize the lives spiritually. They studied the qualities of that church to break their communions with Jesus. These demons worked hard to diminish the vigor and strength of the prayer of those churches. Other groups of demons were taking the brothers from the holy denominations, making each follow other churches without commitment with Jesus. This group of demons was spreading these brothers so they would not congregate in the same place. They are spiritual brothers that together would bring a revival to the church. The demons caused confusion in many churches so that many would leave and many men of God left as well, leaving that church over to the work of the weaker brethren and so the demons would draw the strongest, leaving the weakest to work in that church. These demons entered into many churches, putting jealousy, misunderstanding, and arrogance. The demons laughed when they could get the most spiritual out of those churches. A church when it loses a valued worker is a victory for the demons, when they cannot overcome a united church, they first disorganize the body of Christ. Placing divisions and then defeating the ministry, many serious denominations were closing, because of tensions within the church, pastors could not avoid conflict or solve problems, unity and union were not established and disagreements were not forgiven and forgotten, Jesus said. The filth within the churches must be cleansed so that the demons do not work. The church has to withstand the impacts caused by the demons, if they forgive, gather and organize, a spiritually disorganized church is a reflection of the brother's conflicts, caused by lack of vigilance, Jesus said, my Holy Spirit does not dwell in strife, do not let the devil break the bond of union that unites my people, when my servants come in contentions, they break the communion of my body and their bonds with the Holy Spirit are broken, all this opens the way for the demons to work, the Lord Jesus told me that older Christians are throwing new converts out into the world saying words that hurt, the Lord told me that people are in the church being deceived by the sects, by the lack of knowledge, our desire has to be to win souls, Jesus told me, we are in a time where many are spiritually hungry. They do not know how to feed themselves and seek pleasures in the world and cannot supply their spiritual needs with that which is fleeting. Sin can feed the flesh, not the spirit. And nothing will advance unless the spirit in man feeds on me and my word. Others seek false religions and they feed on devils and unclean loaves. They drink from the filthy, polluted water springs. All this causes spiritual ill-being. Tell my church to strive in my pure and holy doctrine, without contamination with vain philosophies and false theologies. Many bishops and apostles had their minds seared by theology. They have no experience with God, they live dead in the letter, without the direction of my truth. They are only based on their different theological opinions and theological views. They seek the truth in men's theology. Not seek the truth in me. I want to dwell in them through my spirit. These men mix the truth of God with theological opinions. They offer to the people food that leave them half hungry. They do not seek to have an experience with God and are connected with the world. They are only academic scholars. They are not practitioners, they know a God in the books of theology. They do not know me as a person. They love the world and what is in it. Their relationship with the world is so strong that they no longer want to leave the world for heaven. They experience the world's delights more and do not experience the supernatural of God. The world offers only a few hours of joy, everything in it is illusion and are traps for death. They are allied with the world. 
They are like rats drawn by the smell of food and fall into the trap of death armed by Satan.